kind of tuck things out of the way, get ourselves situated. I'm going to grab in from the thermostat housing and the vacuum tube for the uh, brake booster. We'll pry it up a little bit. Should have known. Okay. Get an area set up to where we can set it down. And as you can see, there's no coolant in the lifter valley. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prep the mating surfaces. And then start pulling... Um, we're not pulling, but loosening up the rocker arms and everything and getting ready to um, receive the new parts. Now, with that being said, because I'm going with a mechanical uh, lifter, it's going to have a different height, internal height, so we're going to have to go through and measure push rods. Yeah, we'll get that other valve cover off. Uh, we'll get something down inside the, the lifter valley. And we'll start, start cleaning. Since we we're susceptible to dropping stuff down inside either the intake or uh, possibly the oil return passages in the back of the engine to include the distributor hole. Uh, use a magnet for your hardware. Thanks for all the, the comments. Um, some people are leaving likes. Thank you for that. Thanks for all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, take the time right now. I'll wait because I got to pick up the wrench anyway. Just go to the channel and hit the subscribe. I'll wait.
for those of you that did that, thank you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go relax all the rockers, right? That way all the valves are closed on the intake side. So when I am cleaning, if something debris or whatever makes its way down inside a runner, I can clean it out with uh, the shop vac and not worry about it making it into the com uh, combustion chamber. All right, now that we got the surface prepped, all we're waiting on now is the lifters. I guess we could prep the intake also. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, not that bad. That'll clean up easy. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to scrape the intake down and yeah, see what's going on. All I got left now is just to resurface the thermostat housing. Oh yeah. Trying to cut through the gasket. We'll start off with some 60. Right, and you can kind of see where these edges are higher and this area is kind of lower. That's where it was kind of leaking. So we're, we're doing something. What I'm doing is Go back and forth a couple times and rotate it. Go back and forth a couple times. Just don't do it in one direction. Kind of rotate it as you're doing it. Right, that's looking a little better.
get in there. It's getting there. We'll change out our sheet. All right, we got a new sheet. It's getting there. move to a different grit we'll clean up our work area <clears throat> excuse me is this a video on resurfacing a thermostat housing or are we doing lifters all right yeah well that's enough of that you got the idea 